Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week on Friday in my region, Microsoft rolled out a new dev channel inside a preview build, 26120.2122, which was made available to insiders with the update KB5044374. So just a quick overview as to what is going on in the dev channel for last week. And we do get one or two new features uh, which we're just going to have a look at quickly. Now, the first is Microsoft mentioned they have updated the previews that show when you mouse hover and or hover over your apps on the taskbar. And they've also improved the animations for when these previews show on the taskbar based on insider feedback. So that's a bit of a UI tweak and adjustment we could see rolling out to an up and coming stable version in the future. And then the next two are for the task manager. And I'm just going to mention these quickly. Apparently, they've updated the design of the disconnect and log off dialogs in the task manager to now support dark mode and text scaling. So Microsoft trying to get the dark mode a lot more consistent in the task manager. And then in the performance section, um, they now label listed disks with a top. And that's a feature that's slowly rolling out as well to the stable version. It hasn't rolled out yet to stable but is now available in the dev channel. And I have posted a video on that and I'll leave a link to that down below and in the and in the end screen if you want some more info regarding um, labeling listed disks with their type. Now, because we are in the dev channel, we get a couple of fixes and then we also get some known issues, two known issues because it is quite early days still in this preview release of Windows 11. And then I think the big one with this update is that the snipping tool has received a new feature where it introduces the copy as table feature which is a new feature Microsoft is now testing in the Canary and the dev channels and what this is all about Microsoft says you can use copy as table to copy structured table data into an email document or spreadsheet so to get started they say you capture a screenshot with the table data you then select text actions and then you select copy as table and you can also paste the structured table data from there and they say they were just on a side note the current implementation of the feature works best when you screenshot only includes one table so obviously there's a bit of work to do on this and that's a bit of an improvement they might have to work on there but copy as table is now available um as part of the latest snipping tool update and that's with version 11.2409.22.0 and newer according to Microsoft. So I'm sure that will be rolling out to the snipping tool in an up and coming update in the stable version uh, sooner than later. And guys, that's it. That's more or less what's new in last week's Dev Channel Insider Preview Build 26120.2122. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.